Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here, I'm going to show you how to beat Mind Flayers in Baldur's Gate 2. So this video is going to be somewhat part of my Baldur's Gate 2 uh, beginner's guide. Specifically, that guide, I'm going over all the different strategies you can use to not only take out Mind Flayers, but other enemies within the game. So the first strategy I'm going to show you here is Animate Dead plus AoEs. So Animate Dead is a great spell to use against the Mind Flayers because they can't devour the brain of the Mind Flayers. Uh, and I'm playing on core rules, by the way, for those that are curious, as far as difficulty goes. So since they can't devour the brain of the Mind Flayers, what I'm going to do, or since they can't, the Mind Flayers can't devour the brain of the Skeletons since they have no brains, I am sending them in to take all of the initial hits and then I'm going to drop a cloud kill in this room with Hair to Lease. So, bam, the cloud kill goes down. Now, the cloud kill took out the Umber Hulk, one of the Umber Hulks immediately, and it's dealing slight amount of damage to the other Mind Flayers. Um, I would actually like to deal more damage than this. So, I'm going to drop a Flame Arrow uh, on them at the same time with Hair to Lease, and I'm going to bring my other characters in here too. You can see we're taking a little bit of damage which is fine. Uh, another thing I can show you here is sequencers. So sequencers are spells your casters get. They're called spell sequencers. You get a low level one, you also get a high level one, and they basically allow you to instantly memorize spells and then to cast them off at a, uh, or sorry, they allow you to like, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I mean, essentially memorize spells and then cast them at your, le uh, at your leisure. So what I just did is, uh, I'm going to use Airy Sequencer, which is two magic missiles that are memorized on that one, uh, whatever he's called, Mind Flare. And then the other guys are going to blast away too. Spell Sequencers are great to use on harder enemies, especially if you have a bunch of them saved up on a few of your characters, because then you can just unleash all of your Spell Sequencers at once. Speak. And Skull Trap is another AoE that I recommend that I'm using here. Although it is going to damage my skeletons, the Cloud Kill has the added bonus of being uh, poison damage, so it won't damage the skeletons. You can see I just blew up one of my own skeletons there with, uh, with the Cloud Kill. Let's see. Aerie, you can Magic Missile this one guy who's almost Quickly, dead. Yeah. Almar, you can Spell Sequencer. Uh, this one who's at full health, Jan, Fire Arrow, the full health guy, I guess. And we might have to retreat a little bit here too. It's definitely, it's definitely possible. Uh, ooh, okay. So yeah, we definitely might, uh, I don't want to fight them in the cloud kill, so I'm definitely going to retreat at least to here. And, it, uh, it would be good if you have haste. Because then you can you you can easily get away from the mind flayers yes. like this. Without haste, you might ha there's like a, a small chance you might not be able to escape the mind flayers. They both resisted that, of course. What? So here they come. Okay. Hopefully, it's just one of them. If it is, it's good. So I'm going to use uh, mirror image and blur on my characters that are in here because I'm going to be engaging these guys in melee. Your command. This is typically not advised because they are able to deal very, very heavy damage to you via, uh, or rather I should say not heavy damage. They're able to basically one shot you with their devour brain ability. Quickly, now. And uh, essentially how Devour Brain works is it will lower your intelligence little by little until uh, they kill you. So let's see if anybody gets hit. Yep, Almar got hit yes. by Devour Brain. You can see he's about to die. Next hit, he's dead. What? And they ate I'll through my spell. They ate through my defenses for that. I have tons of buffs up. I have Blur up. I have Mirror Image up. I have tons of defensive buffs up on him, but they still were able to eat through almost all of that and get me down to five intelligence. Tactic, that. Which goes to show how deadly these enemies can be. What can I do? I'll do it. Herod Elise, he has not been hit by them yet, so he has not started to uh, lose, lose his HP like that. There we go, he just got hit. So let me move him out. 10 intelligence. 
Ooh, he just got uh, stunned. So he's basically dead now. You can see these are uh, harder than typical mind flares too. These are the Ularids or whatever they're called. U Ulithiards, however it is pronounced. I'm not sure. One thing we can do to make this fight easier too is we could use Greater Malice on, which would decrease their resistances. Or decrease their saving throws, sorry. Now we're tanking it with Mordekanian's sword a little bit, which, uh, how much intelligence does Aerie have? So Aerie can take like two more hits. I don't know if they will be able to one-shot my sword. All I know is they're putting up a way harder fight than I expected them to. There we go, one is finally dead. So what I am actually going to do is we are going to greater malice on, or we are going to malice on him, and we are going to slap him, hit him with a lower resist. And Jan, what do you have? Eek. Let's hit him with two lower resists. That way the remaining magic missiles, oh, of course. So that was, okay. One thing, yeah, you can see that the Mordekanian sword is immune to the damage that he is putting out. So that is nice. This part isn't nice, though. How Almar's beating on Jam. Airy, you don't. Yep, you do not have a single uh, magic missile left. You don't have a sequencer left either. Jan, what about you? No. Jan has. Uh, he doesn't have a sequencer either. So. No, 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 no. That is not a uh, not smart, Jan. I did not say melee. That is absolutely a no-go. You attack with the crossbow. The Mordekanian sword guy will tank him, and we will pew-pew from a distance. This is not ideal, but it does work when we're out of other options. We could always charm Almar back if we wanted to, but it's not, uh, it's not the end of the world dealing with his charm. There we go. We killed him. So now we dip, and uh, there you go. Fight your own sword, Alma. So now we have to circle back around and res hair to lease. Yes. And then I can show you uh, the other strategy for taking on the other mind player room. So there's Harry. Harry. Pick up all your goodies. I can carry not another stitch, but to fall to the ground. Let us say. And did you not have an offhand weapon? Hmm. It is a role I am glad to play. I guess I, uh, I guess he died one time and I forgot to re-equip the offhand weapon. I, uh, I cannot remember what I had in his offhand though. I guess I can cross that bridge at another time. Let me put the Mace of Disruption if he can wield it. No, terrible Thacko. Your command? Well. Easily done. What I'm going to do is we're going to rest because we need our spells back. This fight takes a lot out of us. And what I am going to do is we're going to explore a little bit. Even though, as you already see, we have the whole map explored, so we technically don't need to do this. Where is my invisibility? I know I just memorized it. Jeez. I guess I, uh, I reloaded when I memorized my invisibility during one of my previous videos. So where is my invisibility this time? Okay, there we go. Invisibility 10 foot radius. There we go. Now, let me run up here, and this is one of the harder rooms of Elithids. You can see we got three, or uh, that Ulithariid guy. They're the hard ones. They're the ones that are harder than regular Mind Flayers. So he is, uh, aside from him, I know uh, this secret room right there, quote-unquote. Ooh, there's another. He's still alive. 
He's badly injured, though. So, aside from that Illithid in there, we got uh, a few enemies down there that aren't Illithids. We have this room of Illithids, and then we have this room of Illithids. So, what we are going to do is uh, this Quickly, solo yeah. Illithid. Let us fight him solo. Let's uh, not summon Animate Dead in order to take him out. We'll just uh, we'll fight him solo. We'll buff up. So I'll explain a little bit of the buffs that I'm using. Uh, protection from Undead, 10 foot radius for my entire group. Everybody in my group is at least half mage, so I am using uh, uh, Mirror Image and Blur on everybody. They both stack and they will decrease my chances of being hit significantly. Um... Oh, Stone Skin, that is automatically cast if you're a mage and you have the spell memorized, which is highly recommended that you do because Stone Skin is insanely good. Also, uh, Minor Sequencer, let me show you how this works now, too. You get a few Minor Sequencers throughout the game, and you can basically just pick a spell uh, that you can put in, basic in them, like this. I chose Magic Missile, and then whenever you use the Minor Sequencer, it will use uh, the spells that you put in them. So I could put Blur and Mirror Image in a Minor Sequencer if I wanted, and then pop them defensively instead of offensively. But I don't, uh, I don't want to do that for... Uh, or I have done that before, but I personally don't like that too much. I like using offensive Minor Sequencers. Two Magic Missiles is usually my favorite to put in there. Aside from that, though, aside from the magic missiles, when you get the higher level sequencer, I like to do a uh, greater malison yes. with them and, uh, like, usually a few debuffs. Greater malison, resist, uh, lower resistance, and uh, stuff like that. And a magic missile if you want to throw it in there, too. But they're good to use. There we go. I have my sequencers all, all ready to go. So uh, back to buffs. Resist, f remove fear is a good uh, wizard or cleric one. I can't remember which one that is. It's cleric, right? I think remove fear is. I think I think it is cleric. Anyway, bless is another good one to use. I don't think I've used bless yet. Chant is another good cleric buff to use. Bless and a do stack, so you can use both of them if you want. Chant is a short du a shorter duration buff, so you want to pop that closer to combat. Shield of the Archons, max level spell, but very, very good to use. Uh, Defensive Harmony is another good one to use. This all, These all stack and will increase your AC and saving throws. So it's important to... Uh, like you can, you can sit here for a while and cast a lot of buffs if you wanted to. And last but not least, we're going to top it off with a haste from Jan. Even though we really don't need to. But we're going to be sleeping again shortly, so... After we kill this Ulariathian monster. Just like that. Oh, come on. There we go. We took him out. We win. Your command. I hear you. And actually, what we can do is we can head down here and we can take out these enemies too real quick. This dwarf right here, Insane Dwarf Warrior, he drops Ring of Fire Control, which uh, gives you 50% fire resist. And I think it also gives you, uh, it allows you to summon a uh, fire elemental. Summon or take control of, let's say. Charm fire elemental, okay. But 50% fire resist is the main reason you want to use that. And it also lets you use burning hands once per day, but who really cares about that? The main reason you're using that is for, like, the fire resist. And I'm going to drop it on Airy, who's using the dragon helm. So that's 50% fire resist plus 25% fire resist. So she's almost max fire resist. Uh, too bad she can't use uh, dragon shield. Otherwise, I could get her over um, 100%. Well... Actually, I think she would be exactly at 100%. Speak. Which would be nice, because then she would be immune to fire damage. Which is one of the more common damage types. Quickly. And that is all for that room right there. As you can see, a pretty easy room. Now, I know this video is dragging on, but I really would like to show you... Uh, I really would like to show you at, at least this one other fight up here. Let me first pop, uh, do I have my invisibility? Nope, I think I blew it. So what we will do instead is, I quick saved right before. Okay, so there are one, two, three. So it's another room like that. 
which is fine. We're cheesing it a bit, but yes. I'm in the middle of a video and I don't want to, you know, drag things out ridiculously long, this way longer than I've already have. So what we are going to do for this group up here is we are going to do the animate dead strategy again. We're going to make five animate deads and we're going to AOE the shit out of that room. So there's Uno animate dead. Here's Dose animate dead. I forget three. I forget what tr three is in Spanish. Comment below with what three is in Spanish. I know four is Quattro. Tress, there you go. I got it. And one thing that's nice about these animate deads is we can buff them up with every buff we use too. So, for example, I am going to use the uh, protection from undead 10 inch radius or 10 foot radius and you'll see that they'll get it too. We're going to use bless. We're going to use remove fear. I don't think the lithids fear, but shoot of the archons we want to use on you. I can hear you Jan, I guess we can use your haste right now. Haste usually lasts for quite a while, so. I'm also going to use uh, mirror image and blur, just in case we do have to fight on any of my characters. We will use chant as well. And then we're going to use defensive harmony as well. That will increase our saving throws, as well as chant increasing our saving throws. Harry needs to use mirror image. And I think that covers our pre-boss before combat. Technically, I should probably use improved haste on Almar or uh, Hair Delise because that would be that would increase my attacks per round uh, double them. But I uh, I usually use haste on everybody instead. Haste is AOE and it works on the animate dead, so speak. Agreed. So, the second I open this door, all hell is going to break loose. I'm going to send them in, and give me a second, I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to send my skellies in, and Where then we're now? going to AoE behind them. Let me turn off party AI, because I don't want my uh, characters running into the room. So... I see how I'm sending the skeletons in right here at the entrance. I don't want to send them deep into the room because then they're going to run by the enemies and get attacked as they're running by the enemies and it's going to be a complete mess. So what I want is I want them to walk in the room and when they get to their positions, they're going to pick a target and they're going to start fighting immediately. So, Hair to Lease. Also, one thing that's worth mentioning is get your characters close enough to AoE. Uh, don't like where they're standing now if i told them to aoe from that position they would run into the room to aoe you want to get your characters in line of sight before telling them to aoe so see where i put hair to lease he's in line of sight before i told him to actually get in there and start aoe so where are the elithids okay there's one of them over here in the corner he's getting beat up pretty good the mind flare up there okay Let's see if Jan can hit him with a flame arrow from where he is. Good. Jan's not standing in the, uh, the shitstorm. So that looked like both... Oh, nope. One of those elithids. The Ularia Theodore, or how, however it is pronounced, just died in the corner. So there you go. That's both of... I think that's everything in there. Yep, my skeletons are just chilling, so that is everything in there. So that went way, way, whoa, 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 where are you guys coming from? Hold up. <laughs> I don't even know where these guys are coming from, but they're just, like, coming in from the back. Very well. That is unexpected. I wonder where they did come from. That's kind of interesting. But they're both regular mind flayers, so that is a bonus. They're not the harder versions. But still, concerning. So, we're going to send Almar on them, which is the worst idea ever, because they can devour his brain. And if he dies, it's game over. Well, he got turned around, so. Thankfully, my skeletons have haste, and they were able to make it down here in time. 
So the skeletons are able to make short work of those mind flayers. Excellent, that worked out way better than I expected it to. Almar still uh, whacking away at Jan. Poor Jan. Right? No, who, who is he whacking at? Airy? Hair to lease. Poor hair to lease then. Okay, that door is open up there. Hair to lease, you free? Come on, hair to lease. No! Hair to lease, no! No! No, homie. Hopefully, he doesn't insta give him. Okay, that's fine. Your command? Still unfortunate that hair to lease died, but he's not insta killed, or he's not perma killed, so that Speak. is a bonus. Get Aerie, do your shit, res him up. You need something? Where is Resurrect? Resurrect. Mass Cure. Raise Dead. There we go. Oh yeah, AI is off. That's why she wasn't doing it. Was wondering why she wasn't doing it automatically. Here, Elise, what are you doing all the way over there? I sense many dangers in this place. I am I Raven? I'll do my best. Okay, so once Herod Elise gets his gear, then we will do the last pack, and I will end the video. Technically, I can just end the video here, I guess, because uh, I've already showed you the strategy I'm going to be using over and over again. We're just going to basically summon more animate dead skeletons, and we're going to gung-ho right in there and uh, beat them up just like we attempted to do, or successfully did, the previous time. But anyway, that is really all there is to it. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And uh, if you guys want more information about how to get Quick, better at Baldur's Gate task. 2, check out my website, almarsguides.com. I do have a beginner's guide series on there that will uh, share a bunch of tips, tricks, and other strategies to help you get better at the game. Anyway, I'll see you guys around in future Baldur's Gate 2 videos. Peace.